Hey guys, Courtney here. Hope everybody's having a good day. Welcome to my channel and welcome to me. If this is your first time with me, I hope you will like my video. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Tap the little ringy dingy bell. That's what I call it, little ringy dingy bell. I'm trying a couple of new things today with some new equipment, a new app um, to see how it works out. But I think I pulled off a very beautiful look and hopefully you guys will continue watching. If you want to see how I got this look on my face, you know the drill. Keep on watching. I'll see you soon. Okay, you guys. So, um, I'm trying a new setup today as far as not, not for my makeup, but for um, my, I'm trying a new app. And it is the app um, that is the iMovie app. And um, Baby Girl Arian, she told me that I should download that because I realized that my app, my other app that I've been using, which was Video Shop or Shop Video, whatever, um, it was not doing, it was, it was not letting me transfer over some of the things that I wanted to transfer over, like my intro and outro. It did it once, then it said it couldn't do it anymore. So, anyways, I was just, I had already filmed a little bit and then I just decided to start over because uh, I haven't done anything um I did use my last bit of Ulta points at Ulta I did I used them and I got um some of the Too Faced lippies um I got some of the free um the, like this was free um with the the Too Faced um oh oh sorry y'all dropsies so you get the lip injection cream and some of the melted lipstick here this is separate see um, and this is a really pretty new color. Um, and then I got the Pro Concealer. But I got these two. We're buy one, get one free. And it's the Too Faced Melted Matte. Or no, Melted Metallic. Met, matte Metallic. This is so beautiful. It is so holographic, so beautiful, so shiny. But super, super, super light glittery. So I don't want to swatch it. Um, and then you guys know um, I've been wanting to get this forever, and it is the Natural Nudes Too Faced. This is in the color Birthday Suit, and I am just over the moon about these. Um, I did get from, it, it, that was Ulta Points, and then the last thing I got with Ulta Points was the Becca Hydramess Set and Refresh Powder. This is crap. This is going back. This is going back. This is going back. It has a very cooling effect on your face. Yes, it does. But it takes your makeup off. So I decided to pull out my it Confidence in a Compact because I haven't used it in a while. And because it's super dark, um, I figured it would match all the crazy I have going up in here. But a lot of people don't like this, this product. Um, I don't know why I'm a fan of this product. I just like the way it, it I like the finish of it. I do. This does, and it takes a minute for it to dry down. But once it does, it really is a good product. Um, so I'm going to play around with this for a minute. So far, I've checked everything. Everything looks okay. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna be able to tweak it a little bit as far as the, the video goes. Because that's kind of what I'm doing, just a test to see if this app's going to work for me. Um, but I do want to try some of this LA Girl um, Pro Concealer. I have never tried this, y'all. Never, ever, ever. I have never tried this. So I am quite excited to try it. All right, let me, let me get this worked out here, y'all. I like the way that formula is, but I think this is the wrong color for me. But it's okay. We worked with the wrong color before. So I have heard that some people do not set this with dry skin. Because I've done a lot of research on, you know, products for dry skin. Um, and I have heard that some people do not set this for dry skin. So someone told me the other day that I need to do some videos in ASMR. So I'm trying to be a little bit more quiet today. <laughs> Just to kind of see, because I'm not using my um my normal equipment that I would use um as far as my microphone and stuff. I mean, I'm trying to use this app in its entirety just to kind of see what it does. But I am gonna set this LA girl, especially in the eye area, because I just feel like it needs to be set. Not a heavy set, just a really light, 
Laura Mercier Secret Bitening Powder. It's so good. It's kind of weird now that I'm doing this and I'm not doing it on live because here recently I've been doing all of my um, Get Ready With Me on live. Okay, so I have set under the eyes and the normal areas that I normally set with my brightening powder. And I am going to go back in with my color. Ooh, <laughs> is that my ear? Gonna back, go back in with my um, with my color pop um, no filter powder that I have been loving lately. And I am going to set the rest of my face with that. Okay, y'all, sorry. I had to change shirts because that was really bothering me. That, that, ugh, on my neck. No. Okay, so another thing I noticed. The reason I exfoliated this morning is because yesterday I used a, I used that same freaking primer. This primer, this e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer, Okay. And I noticed that when I used it on my forehead, after I applied my foundation and my setting powder and all that, um, and it, pretty much everywhere on my face, um, I started getting like these weird patches, right? Like not normal like dry patches, like because my face didn't get sunburned. I used that freaking powder and it worked. But I started getting these patches on my and I'm on my face, and I'm gonna come in a little bit here and show you guys what I'm talking about. Do y'all see how it is right here, all across my freaking forehead, y'all? And it's it's all over my face. So I exfoliated the crap out of my face this morning, and I was like, oh, I need to exfoliate. So it's not that. It's the primer so checkmate on that we will not be using that primer anymore this is no it's I, I like I, I like this before but not now um it's it's not good but um with I forgot to tell you guys with that Becca um inch worm with that Becca um the 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 lipstick that I got with the bet with the Becca um, that crappy ass uh, powder that hydrating powder um, they sent a lippy and it was just a free gift and it's just this little Becca lippy here because it was lipstick Sunday so I do want to show it to you because it's so pretty and Sherry I think you'll really like this color this is a pretty color it has a beautiful color it's like a coral but it's not it's not over the top. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's, it's very pretty. I like it. I like that a lot. I have not had a Becca Lippy, so I'm kind of excited about that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start contouring, um, bronzing, um, brondoring. And I am using the all famous BH Cosmetics soft contouring brush. And I might just put this in fast forward. I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. So I'm testing new things with this app. So y'all are just going to have to bear with me. Hopefully this video won't be 18 miles long and hopefully I can use this app in a better way where I could do some different things that I can't, where I wouldn't normally have been able to do. So I have heard that this is a better app and I hope that it works for me. I do what you need it to do. And um, my camera without that app, the other app, I have an automatic focus. Um, it's the AEF, -F, AEF lock. And that is something that I can use on this, whereas I suppose I couldn't use that on the other. So y'all have to let me know how that looks. If it's if it's if I'm focused, if it looks good in that way. So y'all have to let me know about that for sure. See what happened? What happened was <laughs> when I got burnt that day. Um, I I knew that I was going to be so uneven. Sorry. I knew that I was going to be so uneven that I took my Tarte, um, this stuff here. This is the Faux Tan by Tarte. Um, and it comes, I'm not going to show you the mitt because it's disgusting looking. It looks like you've been, but someone, look, ooh, ooh. But, um, you put it on with that mitt and it's a really great, um, self-tanner, which not, you know, real huge into self-tanning. I wanted to try it and I said you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and try it while I'm burnt slap up 
and maybe it'll even out some of these lines. But um, I think that's what this is. I think it's just kind of built up um, that from that bronzer, from the from that self tanner. And I need to just go in and exfoliate and start over, you know. Um, now I'm going to go with my butter bronzer. I'm just going to kind of even things out. And I'll just use this round um, brush that's sort of like a foundation brush, but it's a little bit more domed off. And I just do kind of like in a C motion just to kind of buff this bronzer out. Everybody does things different. I just cannot, 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 cannot emphasize that enough. Everybody does things different. And that's fine. You are allowed to do whatever you want. I'm on this kick, y'all. I think I'm gonna, that's gonna be my, um, my Sunday series, um, or my series for this week is going to be, um, a discussion about, a discussion and opinion from you guys about other people's opinion down. So I will save all of that for my series, um, which will be on um, this Sunday with Port Chats with Courtney. It's going to be, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but it's going to be something to the effect of opinions are like, you know what? <laughs> and of course I won't put the ugly word there, but maybe I'll put a peach there. Opinions are like peaches. That's for you, Erica. She sent me a emoji. I thought it was a. I thought it was. She was saying that it was because I was from Georgia, but it wasn't. She sent it because she said that the peach um is, is can stand for the butt for the butt too. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I'm gonna use this little tart, this little tart palette. This little. I like pulling this out. I like pulling this out. Um, this because this highlight color that's in here, although it's a little subtle, it's beautiful. It really is. It's beautiful and it's very nice on my skin tone. I like it. Especially when I've got a little bit of color on my face. I do like it a lot. See, it's not it's not too much. It's not outrageous corny. So y'all can just be happy for that. <laughs> my husband will like it too because he does not like my my Ofra highlighter. He does not like that. So yeah, he doesn't care what I do with my makeup. I've been trying to be nice and and compromising with him. So we're going to do a super, 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 I'm talking about like super quick eye look today. I just, this blush is just, I just can't say enough good things about it. It's a great blush. Just like random, random information. Um, I have lost another seven pounds from when I was at work last shift which would have been last no okay hold on let me take that back two weeks two weeks so i've lost another seven pounds um in two weeks i'm gonna get on my scale tonight i think i'm gonna start doing a vlog on my uh, weight loss because you guys know it's not purpose i'm not doing this on purpose um which is concerning but I don't feel like there's anything wrong. Does that make any sense? I'm concerned, but I'm not concerned. You know? Everybody at work that hasn't seen me in a while, if they see me, they'll be like, you know, you've lost so much weight. Like, I saw a doctor. A doctor worked with me last night that I haven't seen in a while. It's actually a, you know, a buddy of mine. Um, and he said, oh, my God. He's like, you lost weight. I was like, yeah. He said, are you trying? And I was like, no. He said, I had a feeling. So, um, yeah, we have like the same birthday, so it's kind of weird. Anyhow, so I'm just softening some of this stuff up. But yeah, I think I'm going to start doing a vlog, a vlog on my um, weight loss because it's really starting to become a thing that, um, that's a, you know, pretty big part of. Anyhow, um, so brows, did I say I had something for my brows? Yes. The Kat Von D. So let's give this stuff a shot. <clears throat> and see how it works. Okay guys, so um this is this is the this is how the sample came and this little brush is so freaking cute. But I think it's a little stiff. Um but this is what it looks like. Isn't that cute? It's got the little logo on it. 
Now see, this is what I'm worried about with this app. It doesn't focus as well as far as product goes. But um, I think I'm gonna try to use the brush. Um, so I think we're gonna go with the light color. And this is just the taupe. Um, I use mostly taupes with my eyebrows because like I said, I don't have issues with my eyebrows um, too, too badly. And y'all probably sitting there thinking, girl, yes you do, you just don't know. But I, I don't feel like I do, so. Um, this is the uh, 24 hour super brow. This is in the color taupe. So we're going to try this and see how this works. So the formula is a little di a little different. It's kind of jelly, like sorta, I guess. Is the best word to describe that? Jell, but it, I feel like it's gonna dry fast, like a pomade. So I don't like that. That's nice. I like it. I like that a lot, actually. So okay. So I do like this little brush. Um, it's just gonna be like kind of hard to know where to put it, like. Where do you put a brush this small? I, I, I like this brow product a lot, I do. So I am going to try to savor as much of this as I can. You guys know how I am about my samples. So yeah, this is good, this is good. And if it dries and, you know, stays, we will put that to the test tonight, y'all. All right, so this is a great, 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 really, really good spoolie, by the way. I think it's supposed to be for your eyelashes, but y'all know about me and using the wrong brushes for the wrong things all the time. Okay, so I want to play with these ColourPop shadows. Oh, you know what? Let's use this concealer for my base. Yeah. Because I already know how this is going to perform. Oh, that's a good eye base. Okay, because since we're doing such a really simple eye look today, so... I'm not even going to stop the video. I'm going to see if I can splice it. Honestly, I'm, like I said, I'm playing around with this app, you guys. So y'all will have to be very patient with me right now. I've been wanting to try this creaseless concealer. And what I saw it was um, buy one full size product and get that on the um, Sephora website. And because I'm trying to use up all my points, y'all. I'm trying to, you know, using these points, is this is a great time for me to do that. So why not, right? So let me get my setting brush here for my eyes, which is my favorite setting brush of all time. And I want to set my my eyes with. I'm gonna use this really cheap LA Colors mineral powder here. Okay, so the color pop shadow. Okay. Now I have noticed this is a creamy, creamy super creamy formula and y'all probably think I'm like an alien but I think I'm probably the only person on the face of the planet who has not tried these ColourPop shadows. So first I'm going to try to go in really lightly with a flat brush I really gotta hurry up now um and let's see And yes, I am laying this satin down first. This is on purpose. I don't like the way it's laying with that brush. Y'all already know what's next. We're going in with the old trusty finger. It's almost like a um another eyeshadow base. A little patchy right there. Okay. New plan. A little bit of more of a I'm gonna use this brush to see how this this goes. I don't know. That does something weird. That is so strange. This is a strange formula, y'all. Okay. Put it on that brush and it got all chunky. Hopefully, it won't do that on my eye. Okay. That's a little bit better. I was just having trouble in the corner right there. So I feel like that's okay. I mean, it's not the best application ever, but I'm trying to hurry. This is such a strange formula. 
I mean, I've heard a lot of things about it. It's like you go over it too hard, it starts crumbling up. But it is a strange formula. I like the way that it applies with both my finger and this um, flat brush, this squared off. Like um, this is basically a like a tight lining brush. Her, what you do, her? Lay it down, shadow. If anybody has any really good tips for this shadow, this satin one, specifically this one is called Truth. So if anybody has any good tips for me for this super shock shadow in the color Truth, or any of the ones that are more satiny, like this, instead of the sparkly ones, um, hit me up and let me know. Um, anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and highlight the inner corner of my eye because I'm going to go ahead and get that done. Because I want this really, really to pop. Like, super pop. It's like the easiest inner corner highlighting trick ever. And since this pencil brush that I love has this nice little, little flimsy edge on it, see, why am I not focusing? flimsy little edge on it. I can kind of move that up and down if I want. So that's a really good part. You know, to spread it out. Um, I don't quite know how to how to handle this. I don't. I w it's like I want to go in with a brush. But I don't think I'm going to. Okay. Let's let's just let's just let's just deal with it as it comes, okay? We're just rolling with it right now. is going to worry me. So I'm just going to do it. I think what I'm going to do, ooh, oh, that was what I was worried about. Okay, we can deal with that. Okay, so application with the finger, not too much of a fan of, so, um, I know y'all probably yell at me. Use the such and such brush. Use the such and such brush. Don't yell at me. I don't know why I always wait till I go. It's time for me to go to work to try a new freaking product, y'all. Why do I do that? Why do I do that? Y'all got to make me stop doing that crap. Okay, so let's go on with the brush here. And y'all know I'm gonna have to darken that up, right? They can't be going like that. It's a beautiful color though. Blue. I know you use this. And you rave about it. Tell me, tell me, tell me what you think. And and tag me on one of your or um send me put the post the link down below. Uh, Lulu, Aging Orsley. Um post the link down below of any of your videos where you're using the shadow or anybody anybody post a link if you have a video on using any of these super shock shadows so i'll love to see how you how you work with them i mean it's pretty and i do like it but i feel like i'm not doing it the right way or Sherry, I don't know if Sherry has these or not there. I don't know that she, oh, I'm sure she does. Never mind. Sherry, if you have one, link it down there. Because I don't remember seeing you have one of these. For the super soft shadows. So, Cheerio. I think this purple color right here will be beautiful with this. So, um, I need my little, little thing here. Alright, so I'm just going to tap into this purple. Just a little bit at first. Juvia, you need you need mirrors. Juvia's place, you need mirrors. Should be okay. So I'm gonna try to start bringing this in. This purple in here because we got to calm this down a little bit, sisters. That purple is so freaking pretty, y'all. I know it seems like I'm doing things ass backwards, but I like to do things ass backwards. If you watch my channel, you know I like to do things ass backwards. I 
And I am going to use a different brush to blend on this. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and bring some more purple down here. Okay, I need to soften this up, but before I do that, um, I want to take my highlighting brush, my, um, this brush, and I want to take this satin, and I do want to see if I can get this up into that brow bone. And that way I can just blend everything right there together. I think this satin will blend better than the um than that purple color. I think this satin will blend a little better. Okay, so now it's time for me to just blend my little heart out, y'all. I'm gonna blend my little heart out. Okay, I'm gonna start bottom here. Alright, now I'm just gonna work my way in. To kind of bring some of that color down into there too. Can y'all even hear what I'm saying? I'm like, this should be an ASMR. I'm almost like talking to myself, y'all. Seriously. I like it because the way that I started. Which is not normally the way I do it. Um, I've done it a couple times before with like blues and blacks, but I've never done it for like, like super shimmers, super shock shimmers. So I think I like it. I do. I think I like it. So now I'm just going to go over a couple of spots here on the middle that I feel like need to be kind of, uh, so I'm going to tight line up in here about a third of the way. With this color pop this is a the color it's like a plum color sort of it's in the color call me i'm gonna see if i can get it to line up here oh, okay last time i tried to use it sup so bad I had to fix that a little bit because it was a little bit mud, y'all. Alright, so I'm going to take a liner brush here. And it's not like a liner liner brush. It's like the end of the liner brush. And I'm going to kind of smudge this out. Are they cold liners or what? No, they're gel liners. That's what I don't understand. I'm just going to kind of drag this out on the bottom. I always try to pull out towards the bottom um, just to kind of blend this highlight color in just a little bit so it's not so hard. And then just kind of fluff it there. And then on the top, we start. I start in the inner corner and do the same thing. Depending on what look I'm going for, honestly. And then down here, I just kind of rub it really, really good. I'm trying to get the upper lash line covered. If you guys have gotten the Sephora, this little um, Sonic airbrush sponge, let me know what you think of it. Um, I love this concealer. I think this laid down beautiful color. I think that the look turned out very pretty. Very nice, very soft. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my um, mascara here. And this is the roller lash. I 
Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. Um, I'm so sorry it took me forever, but I'm glad that I was able to try out a new app. So, um, I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, give me a like and a thumbs up and a subscribe and a little ringy dingy bell tap. I'd appreciate it. Um, and also, uh, check out some of my other videos. I've got some really good things coming up, so I'm excited. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I want to argue with you, and I will see you on my next video. Bye, you guys.